team, today I'm talking about my relationship with my mind. Before I was talking about my relationship with my body and I talked about that in my first video, but today I'm going to talk about something much more challenging, my mind. Working on your body is, you know, it's a really physical thing. All you need to do is kind of get out there, you know, lift some weights, jump on the treadmill, sit on the rower, ride a bike, right? Like those things are really simple and over time they will help and you can improve your, I guess, your body and your fitness and your physical well-being that way. But my mind, uh, my mind, well, that's a whole different kettle of fish. A whole different kettle of brains more like. So to tell you the story we have to go back a little bit. August last year I started to experience some pretty out of it stuff. I used to get up, uh, you know, do what I needed to do, it was always quite positive and uh, just went about my daily business and did what I needed to do. But then suddenly there were times when, you know, I would look in the mirror, you know, look at myself a bit long but not in a positive way, not like I was checking myself out or anything like that. I started to feel really negative about the things that were happening to me and negative about the things that were going on around me. Friends, work, colleagues, work, um, relationships, everything. I started to become super, super critical about everything. And then there were times when I couldn't get out of bed, almost like I was concreted to the bed like overnight someone had poured a whole lot of concrete mix over me and I woke up and it was dry and I was stuck there I was truly stuck there of course I mean this is all hypothetically because someone had not poured concrete on me it was up here it was in my mind my mind was stuck there because it didn't actually want to face the day I didn't want to face the day I didn't want to see anybody I didn't want to go to work I didn't want to talk to anybody or do anything. I just wanted to lay in bed. And these days happen at random. I cannot control it. I couldn't control it. I would go for a whole week sometimes, a full five, seven, 10, 12, however many days feeling great. Not feeling concreted to my bed, being able to get out and do whatever I needed to do without a second thought to it at all. But then, I would be hit with those days where I was concreted into bed, where I would look in the mirror and all I could do was criticize. Criticize not only what I looked like, criticize what I said the day before, criticize what I said on social media, criticize what I did maybe five fucking years ago, for God's sakes. Sometimes it turned into weeks until I found myself in that mind frame for months. I couldn't get anything done because all I felt was this physical weight on my shoulders, on my head, and I couldn't, I couldn't shake it. Don't laugh at me for this, but I started to, to cry sometimes. I would get up, I would cry. I would be, you know, cleaning myself in the shower and I would cry. I would be walking to work, crying in public, you know, trying to be subtle about it, of course, but the tears were absolutely there until I got to work and I would put on the smile, did, work make me feel better? Of course it fucking didn't. Of course it fucking didn't and it actually made me feel a lot worse sometimes. But what can you do, you know, you've got to work. You've got to do the job that you are paid to do. And sometimes I would think, you know, this isn't me. What is happening to me isn't me. The way that I feel is not me, it's just what is happening to me now and that is something that will pass. I don't have to do anything about it, it will just pass and it will go. And that was the biggest mistake that I ever made. Because of course anyone who deals with any level of mental illness or you know negativity about themselves knows that it does not just fucking go away. So here I am being offered a promotion at work as well. Um, dealing with all these feelings and thoughts about myself, all this negativity, this internal pain. Trying to learn a new job, trying to connect with the people that I am now working with, and trying to do the best that I can and keep up uh, the you know the good traction.